Okay, good morning, folks. We are on our last lesson of this unit here. Um, it's going to feel really familiar to what we've been doing, but opposite almost. So our goal is to show that lines are parallel. We're going to prove lines are parallel using our special angle pairs, okay? So first we need to talk about what a converse is or something. That's what we're talking about right here. Converse. So a converse is an if-then statement, and we form it by switching the hypothesis and the conclusion. A lot of big words there. An if-then statement is just a statement that has the words if and then in it. And then the hypothesis is the part that follows the word if, and the conclusion is the part of a sentence that follows the word then. So if we look here, our statement is, if the sum of two angles is 90, then they are complements. So let's underline our hypothesis. Remember, that follows the word if. Maybe I'll put if up here. So our hypothesis would be, if the sum of two angles is 90. And then we can circle our conclusion, and that follows the word then. So if, um, if the sum of two angles is 90, the conclusion would be, they are complements, okay? So that's our original statement. Now the converse, you guys, says we're going to switch the order of those. So if I switch the order of those, let's see what it would say. If two angles are complements, right, because that has to come first this time, then their sum is 90. Very good. Yep. So that's the converse. Now, I know it seems kind of strange to randomly bring this up on the last lesson of our unit, but what we're going to do today is you're going to be given our, what, um, one of our special angle pairs, and depending on if they're congruent or supplementary, we'll be able to tell if lines are parallel. So up until this point, if we kind of scroll back here, let's look, folks. When we had parallel lines, this is our last unit, it made our angle pairs either congruent, right? We're even a little thing here. We either had congruent angles or supplementary angles, right? Well, now we're going to do it in the reverse order. They're going to give us our angle pairs, and we have to decide if that's enough info for lines to be parallel. Okay? Sorry about the long intro. It's hard to do this when I can't see your face. All right, so let's look here. It says corresponding angles, converse. So if we have corresponding angles that are congruent, will you guys underline congruent there, circle it for me? Then we have parallel lines. So let's look here. Is this angle of 110 degrees corresponding to that angle of 110 degrees? Hopefully you're thinking, yes, they're both in matching places. So which line would be parallel? So if we look here, if I have corresponding angles congruent, then I know line A would be parallel to line B. You guys see that? A and B would now be parallel. Okay, let's try another one. Alternate interior angles converse. So if we have alternate interior angles that are congruent, then we will have parallel lines. So can we all agree that this 85 degree angle and this 85 degree angle are alternate interior? Hope you're nodding yes. So now which lines would be parallel because they are congruent? Lines N and line M are parallel. And just in case you forgot, remember that um, those two vertical bars mean parallel. In case you forgot. Parallel. Okay. Alternate exterior angles converse. If we have alternate exterior angles and they are congruent, we have parallel lines. So again, here are two angles that are alternate exterior to each other. They're, they are both 115 degrees, so we do indeed have parallel lines. In this specific case, it would be line S and line T. They will never touch because they are parallel. And then, folks, as always, our odd man out, 
is our same side interior angles. If we have same side interior angles and they are supplementary, then we have parallel lines. So the key on this one, folks, we got to make sure that 105 plus 75 is indeed 180. It checks out, that gives me 180. So now we do have parallel lines. In this specific case, which lines we parallel? Y and Z. Y is parallel to Z. Beautiful. So now on the next page, folks, we are just gonna practice a bunch with identifying what converse, if any, proves lines parallel. So flip it when you are ready. Okay, here we go. This first one says, which lines are parallel and what converse did we use? So I think maybe we should start with what converse did we use? I probably should have those in the opposite order. Um, here we go. So obviously we have, this is 110 degrees and this is 110 degrees. Are they in a special spot for us? I hope you're thinking yes. Those are corresponding angles, right? They're in matching position. So our converse, you just put corresponding or abbreviate it. That's our converse, our corresponding angles. So now which lines would be parallel? This one's a little trickier. I want to name this line, folks. Right, BD, two points on our line. Two points on our line. Give me a second here. Okay. B, D, the little line on top is parallel, this line right here, B, G. Perfect. There you go. All right, our next one. Again, we're looking, can we identify that these two angles are in a special spot? Well, let's look here, folks. They are same side interior angles, but on this one, remember, we got to make sure that they do, in fact, add to 180. So you guys take a second to crunch those two numbers out together. I hope you are thinking they do indeed, in fact, add to 180. All is well in the world. This is great. So our converse was same side interior. Which lines are parallel? It would be lines P is parallel to Q. P is parallel to Q. Okay, our next one. Remember, um, on a diagram, these archy marks tell us the angles are congruent. So this angle here is congruent to this angle here. Are they in a special spot for us? Well, they are special. We can name these. They are vertical angles, right? But if we go back to our last page, folks, do we have a converse for vertical angles? Do vertical angles prove lines parallel? No, I'm not seeing vertical angles anywhere out of our options. So nope, vertical angles do not prove lines parallel. So you're gonna say none. There are no lines that are parallel. And maybe you wanna go like this, vertical angles. If you want to give yourself a reason to hold that down later. All right, next, folks. Okay, let's see here. So I do have two angles, one's 100 and one's 80 degrees, so they're not congruent. Are they in any particular spot that helps us? Well, no, not necessarily. They're on the same side and both on the outside of our lines. But can we figure out what this angle is right here? I'm hoping you're thinking that um, 80 and that missing angle are a linear pair, so they add to 180. So really, folks, we can figure this out because what's 180 minus 80? It's 100. So now if we look here, 100 and 100 are in matching spots, which makes them corresponding angles. So our lines are parallel. Good work. Okie doke. Um, yeah, to name those lines, pick two points on them. I'm going to do line BC is 
parallel to EF. That was tricky. All right, next. 62 and 62, are those in special spots? Yep, yep, they sure are. Those would be alternate interior angles. That's our converse. So now which lines are parallel? That would be lines P and line Q. Our next one here. Again, these archie marks are telling us angles are congruent. Are these two angles in a special spot? They sure are. They're both alternate exterior angles. So which lines are parallel? Well, that'd be line C is parallel to line B. Very good. Okay, why don't you guys try these last three real quick to pause the video and then I'm gonna kind of turbo speed go through them. Ready, set, pause the video. Did you pause it? Or are you just waiting for me to do that? I know your tricks. Don't out trick me. Okay, I'm hope, hoping that you um, try these on your own. So now I'm just gonna kind of go through them real quick, all right? Um, these two angles here are alternate interior angles, which would make lines M parallel to line N. On this next one, um, we do have two angles that add to 180. However, they're not same side interior. They would just be a linear pair. So we would not have any lines parallel, and you could just say linear pair. Linear pairs is not a reason to prove lines are parallel. And then our last one here, we're given one angle measure, and that's it. We know nothing else. So we do not have parallel lines because we don't have enough information. And that's what I'm going to say. Not enough info. N-E-I. Not enough info. Give yourself a pat on the back if you got one of those right. And do it anyways if you didn't get any of them right. Thank you for trying. Thank you for trying. Okay, and now our last part is we usually end with a little algebra, right? Throw in some algebra there just to spice up our life and spice up the problems. So this time they're asking us to find the value of x so that our lines are parallel. So first we need to decide what kind of angles do we have here? Corresponding, alternate exterior, alternate interior, or same side. I'm hoping you're thinking same side interior. I would label that. Label it, label it, label it. And we know same side interior angles add to 180. So we can do seven, um, 70 plus 2x equals 180. All right, now we're going to solve. Minus that 70 over. Drop down to 2x. 180 minus 70 is 110. Divide out. 110 divided by 2 should be what, folks? 50. Yeah, it's 55. Good work, good work. So we just found the value of x to be 55. Okay, good, good, good. Last one here. So again, identify what kind of angles we do have. These two angles here are in matching spots, right? Top left corner, top left corner. So they are in the corresponding angles. We know that corresponding angles equal each other. So to find X, set both of those things equal to each other. Nice little one-step equation here. How do we get x alone? Subtract 15. And you should be getting what? 110. Very good. Give yourself another smile in case you deserve it. Okay. Thank you, thank you. I know I kind of got long-winded there, but again, I don't know. I get nervous when I'm not with you guys, so I just talk. But um, here we go. 
depending on what class you're in, either show your notes to whatever adult is with you to get your bright green worksheet, and I will do one of each type of problem with you just so you guys can kind of see what's going on, okay? So grab that bright green worksheet. It looks like this, and I will do one of each type of the problems just so you are off to a running start on your Tereha, your homework. So pause the video if you need to to get your um, homework, and then I will continue on with this video. Okay, so here we go. The first one, we're just matching the theorem to explain why P is parallel to Q, aka you guys figure out what kind of angles we have, okay? So on this first one, 62 and 62 are what kind of angles? Those are indeed alternate interior angles. Very good. So the alternate interior angles converse proves P is parallel to Q. 105, 105, what kind of angles are those? Corresponding because they are in matching spots. So the corresponding angles converse tells us P is parallel to Q. And hopefully this checks out 123 plus 57, I think that might be the same one from our notes, is 180, so that checks out, and those would be same side interior angles. Very good. Okay, let's try one of these ones. Um, I'm going to do this one and this one. I'll do one of each, okay? Again, decide um, if we have, I guess I should probably read the instructions. Determine if N is parallel to N, if so, give the converse. So yes or no, which converse? So I'm looking here, what kind of angles do we have? Yep, those are indeed alternate exterior angles. So we would have parallel lines, that's a yes. Our next one here. Anything special about these two angles? They are congruent, but are they in special places for us? No, they are not. Nope. There's nothing special. They're not corresponding. They're not alternate exterior. They're not alternate interior, and they're definitely not same side interior. So we can just say, not enough info. These ones are kind of challenging. Um, I think I will do this first one with you. You guys try your best at this one, okay? I'll do this one with you right here. It says, are AC and DF parallel? Okay, so here's AC, this line here, is it parallel to this one? So again, we need to look at, are these angles in a special place that would prove lines parallel? Well, what kind of angles are those? When they're across from each other, when lines are set? They're vertical, yes, vertical. Um, and no, vertical angles do not prove lines parallel. So you can just say vertical, angles. It's not a way to prove lines are parallel. They're not special. Try your best at that next one. We'll go over it tomorrow in class. If you guys struggle, let's flip it to the back. Um, let's do hmm. those should be okay. Let's do this top right one. So again, we're finding the value of x, so that m is parallel to m. Our job here is to identify what angle pair we have, and then write an equation to find x. So first we have to figure out what kind of angles do we have here? Yep, same side interior. Will you please label that so I know that you know? And we know that same side interior angles add to 180, so our equation could be 5x plus 8 equals, not equals, you tell it's early in the morning, doesn't equal it, we add it together to 52 to give us 180. 
Let's combine our like terms there. So drop down your 5x. 8 plus 52 is 60. And now we just have a nice two-step equation, right? Get rid of our 60 by subtracting it over. Drop down that 5x. 180 minus 60 is 120. And then our last step is to what? 5 by 5. Very good. Very good. 120 divided by 5 is 24. I think you will be okay on the rest of this on the back. Try your best. Be please be good. And I will see you tomorrow when I am back in class. Have a fabulous day, you guys. Adios.